to everyone welcome back so in our previous video we are discussed about equals method object sequence method with the strings integers and how they implement that thing so we found out we found something i mean we are using the equal sign and also the equals method so equals method we can override so for new string integer they already implement an equals method but if you have something if you have some uh, some class or something and you, you need to implement something i mean something like we have a class here you need to add some specific equals criteria that you can do in your equals method and also with the contact between equals and if whenever equals method if equals if equals if equals then add code also need to have same value okay that's the only condition so here if i am class test class or something i just change an inner class here so here what i am going to do is i have a variable here private private string in test value or something like that or value whatever okay then code generate getter and setter it will generate whatever I need and right now what I am going to do is I will copy paste this thing we will test for the new class okay so in this case what i'm going to do is i need a constructor here so i need to add a constructor so how i can add a constructor generate constructor with one value that's fine and uh, here new text okay so that's the one we are going to Define here so it's saying like cannot be referenced by my static context. So since it is a you know static class, so I don't know whether we can use a static class here. Yeah, during that time it's okay. And I'm going to use the same things here. So what's gonna happen here? What will be the output in this scenario? So I'm running the code, so everyone can guess it should be false because it's a totally different object. So if you are here and we have we have this opt equals method inside this test so i need to override that to make sure that test value if i am i have same test value i need to return something so what we are going to do is we are going to override our object method so here i have equals method here so what i am going to do is I need to provide my specific implementation here so based on what criteria I will uh, what criteria we need to achieve to make sure the same value in test, test value same test value will return true so that's our aim we need to provide an implementation for equals method so how we can do that 
that's the thing so since it is a boolean it is very really easy if i have okay if i have okay if my object that's this one is equal to is equal to the object that i, I am providing then then it should be returned true okay so if so the second condition probably something different i mean if the object is null or get class get class means the class of current object not equal to object dot get class so the class is different since it is an object maybe the class will be different so i need to check that also so here the second condition will be i have the object and i need to make sure the object is not null so if it is null and to if get class get class means class that i am getting not equal to object to get class okay in both scenarios what i need to do is return force okay uh, both scenarios the result should be return false okay then the third condition the condition we need the actual test class here test class no test class it's test and i am um, taking it as a test class means that this is a better implementation and i am converting that object i am converting that object into our test one since it is since we already checked some something here we already made that assumption this this object is a type of this class so we are just assigning this here and right now we are implementing our logic here return test value is a value that i have and then equals string equals so that to test value and that's the test value so we implement we already implement that things here so right now we can test probably this also will fail because we didn't override we didn't override okay it's not failed actually so right now it's true earlier it was false so based on this assumption it's actually providing um, it's actually providing the actual equals for this scenario so if we are not overriding this one it will provide you the false and if you are overriding with the test value equals condition here it will provide you the actual result so it's very really easy in this scenario and also in the next video we will we will discuss about the comparator and other thing other things so just override the inputs and also you need to make sure the hash code probably in the same way okay thank you for watching have a nice day